welcome to Gamers Rise Up on Extremely Live, the ultimate gaming culture podcast on planet Earth. I am Micah Rock and Roll. I am here with Sam Schild and Millicent Osnes. How the hell are you? Good. Woo! I will say I am 93% downloaded of Elden, Elden Ring. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Sure. I'm going to be fighting some bosses tonight. That's <laughs> awesome. Sorry, plans. I have to get the big key. <laughs> I'm jealous. I got no way so of excited. playing that game. And it looks Come over, like a sleep delight. Over. Hell yeah, oh sleepover God. gaming sleepover be fun. Micah, can I ask you a serious, is your mom still really gay about sleepovers? <laughs> like, because of the church. Dude, because it's... Of like, you know, I, can't, I can't believe I have to deal with this. It's like, all everybody else my age gets to do sleepovers. <laughs> she only makes me Did do you guys sleepovers ever... with girls. <laughs> mm. I would sneak into those. I would sneak into those, have a beer... Go to the go back to the normal one. Did you nice. guys ever have to go to church because of a sleepover? Where the next day, Mike, you probably oh, that's didn't funny. have to do this, but I had to go to church a couple times. And one of the times, the family was getting their church pictures taken, <laughs> and I was not in the photos. Everyone was dressed Weird. up, and I was like wearing like Spider-Man graphic tee and then like <laughs> camo shorts, pajama bottoms, like red. Yeah, yeah. That's so. I was good. just like. Oh, wait, you stayed at yeah. a family that was religious and they would make you go to their church. Yeah, it was one of those oh. deals where, you know, confirming that sleepover is such a fucking tough sell. And, you're, <laughs> and I feel like parents always have ways to divert it or discourage it. It's like, okay, you want to sleep over even though you have that big project due tomorrow and you guys just say you're going to study all night and start playing <laughs> games online. Okay, well then guess what? Tomorrow... Sam's going to church with us. I think. And you know what day it is. It's picture day. And Sam I think looks you like had a the fucking opposite. clown. <laughs> I think you had the opposite of what I did, where I would look at my mother with terror and be like, don't say yes, don't say yes. And she's like, I'll pay you yeah. money to have friends. Yeah. She actually paid me of... money to go. Ha- she gave me $20 to hang out with a girl because she thought that I was going to be an antisocial loser. <laughs> That's, she thought you were going to be a friend, a friend cell. <laughs> she thought I was going to be a school shooter. <laughs> she was worried about me, and for good reason. Uh, That's so good. God, we truly are I, gaming culture podcast. <laughs> I think I'd like to keep it on sleepovers for a second. I think maybe <laughs> seventy-eight, seriously, seventy-eight to eighty-two percent of my energy and stress at that age of like 12 we were doing sleepovers a lot was like how can i construct a narrative a lie and also simultaneously manipulate the fellow bunkers into like gaslighting them into admitting that the shit that destroyed the toilet <laughs> the 12, 18, and, um, was not you was not me it was it was someone else it was, it was like how can i yeah so yeah I walked into That's my uh, friend's sister in, in the bathroom out during a sleepover. Oh, and I was no. so humiliated. And nice, embarrassed. dude. <laughs> Did you see some Hell boobs? Yeah. Saw some shit coming out of Nash. <laughs> nice. Awesome. No. You guys ever pee at a sleepover? Never. Like Girls pee don't. on myself? On my pee friend? In your sleeping bag? Because that no. happened in oh. my bed. <laughs> no, I've been just I wondering got if you guys have soiled yourself. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have a friend that got mad at you for taking a poop at her house? Mm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I had that. I, like I had heard many times in my. I think I that's crazy. Definitely have, yeah. Because your I don't friends. Know where am I supposed you're... to go, girl? In the yard. <laughs> I'm not a dog. <laughs> I think you should go outside again. I just go back to your house, Miles, and take a shit over there. <laughs> your own goddamn toilet. 
They're like charging you Your for toilet like- paper. <laughs> uh. It's like one of. I'm gonna things. Venmo you. Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna invent Venmo so I can get you toilet paper money. God, That's man. funny. I definitely have friends that like were like, because you know, you're a kid, you don't know anything of real value. You're just like a moron. I mean, that was my situation. <laughs> um, and though that was the type of folk I was having sleepovers with, frankly. Morons. Uh, and <laughs> so you have nothing to actually put on each other. So you mm. just make shit up. So you're like, dude, I know that your shits are like fucked up and stupid and weird. <laughs> and and like, really if you big shit and in my bad. beautiful home, if you shit in my beautiful home, you may cause damage. To it, okay. <laughs> and like that was a real thing that you tell your tell your friends and your friends would tell you. I had my friends weren't necessarily like oh, your shit is weird, but it was more like, how dare you poop (laughs) in general? You're a girl. And it Mm -hmm. is interesting because most of us don't Mm -hmm. ever in our lifetime. And I think that that's when I realized I wasn't normal. (laughs) It's a total total pick me move for a girl to take a shit. It's like... (laughs) Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, attention (laughs) whore. God. Like... My God, <laughs> girls who there were, there's... are sluts. <laughs> and we should them and their yeah. I yeah, love the word line. slut. I'm sorry. <laughs> it will always make me happy to hear. <laughs> I mean, it's oh good. My God. That's good. Were you gonna say, Sam? Oh no, I was just gonna say that there's a lot of shit politics in my house. The one my I just helped my parents move out of the second story was the only toilet that could take a shit without overflowing. <laughs> so my dad, in addition to be passive, being passive aggressive about everything else, my dad would be like, "And tell your friends, you know, if they got a shit, they gotta go upstairs." <laughs> uh, what you so that was the extra fun. gravity to get it down there? <laughs> it was just something about a weak flush. Mm. Which it makes no sense that like you know, that's the yeah, scary no. part we about using money. a friend's bathroom mm-hmm. is like you know, it is up. this is the evidence going to be gotten mm-hmm. rid of easily? That's always scary oh, yeah. when you get one of those I mean, just slow flushes. And yeah. You're like, oh no, no. <laughs> Because there's like those movies where people, you know, there's always the accident in the in like, do people not know about plungers or is that or like, do they try or do they just not have a plunger or I've definitely been in situations where the people did not have a plunger, which what blows, kind of blows my mind. Doesn't have a plunger? I know you got to have a plunger. You That's gotta have at that, least at that point. one. You gotta, I mean, <laughs> honestly, you should have multiple different types for different. You gotta, yeah, you gotta have you gotta a have, snake. You gotta have I plunger. Have, I just had a conversation Brush with a customer the about how to how you should get a sink plunger, and he was like, uh. "Nah, nah, the pipes can't handle it." And I'm like, <laughs> "They make sink plungers for a reason." That's yeah. funny. I always wanted oh, a no. snake growing up. Just because, like, God, there's nothing more annoying than a clogged sink. And I feel no. like a snake is the and way And there's to nothing go. more satisfying than a mm-hmm. giant clump of hair and that <laughs> just mm-hmm. attached to <laughs> and a little snake. Oh, I love a good snake. <laughs> For those who don't know, uh, Melisande is trained in the, the I, plumber's yeah. arts. I have a certificate in plumbing. <laughs> and honestly, I thought there was going to be a class specifically on snaking, um, but no, just math. Selective. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> oh, did you uh, get up to anything uh, uh, nerdy this week? Anything gamers rise upy? I got a couple I... things I can share. Honestly, just been playing Hades, Ooh. getting real, real turned on by all these animations. <laughs> I gotta sexy, say, sexy, sexy, so hot. And like, I get it, cause like, 
I have a feeling that out of all of the gods in the world, Greek mythology has the horniest. Mm. And so, of course, they'd make them all babes. But so I'm just like, I'm just fighting daddy and losing, <laughs> getting my ass beaten. Yeah. Haven't beat him once. I hear you have to beat him a lot of times. Haven't even gotten there. Um, and just, uh, you know, feeling bad about myself. <laughs> Having to take breaks, a lot of breaks, because I get a little angry. Yeah, it 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 can get frustrating when you're... I think you really just have to level your guy up a mm-hmm. while before you can, like, really plow through. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, what, what world have you gotten to? I've gotten all the way up to fighting daddy. Holy shit. Yeah, and Good I've for like you. I I've only gotten to th- I've only gotten to Elysium. I, I oh, gotta really I gotta yeah, double down. Yeah, baby, you yeah, gotta get Damon. your shit together. Start I know. gaming for real, Micah. This Such is a, a podcast poser. about poser. <laughs> yeah. Get off the farm and get yeah. into get into Hades. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I so just... but I haven't beaten Daddy yet, so Gotcha. Well, that's cool. Sounds like you're making progress, though. More than I, I ever have. I mean, it's whatever. I'm a gamer girl. Did you uh, unlock all the weapons, I assume? Yeah, baby. I've unlocked all the weapons. Has your I... favorite changed now that you've used them all? Yeah, I really like I really like the shield and the spear. Nice. But like the cuz you know how it glows purple to like you'll get extra whatever mm-hmm. the purple things if you choose the one that's glowing purple mm-hmm. if it lands on that bow and arrow I'm just go I'm just like letting myself die I'm just <laughs> like going as far and as shitty and as fast as I can to get that extra purple, but mm-hmm. also to like not take it too seriously because I'm not, funny. I'm not gonna get there. Yeah. So with your non-preferred I weapon, hate that fucking bow and arrow, <laughs> and uh, it's so stupid because my favorite girl is Artemis and she's mm. such a babe and she loves that bow and arrow and she thinks I'm so hot when I use it. <laughs> and I hate it so much. And I'm like, baby girl, just, I have a spear too. <laughs> is she I'm the really god of the hunt? It. Is that the god yeah, of the hunt? She's yeah, she's like really down to earth. Nice. And, um, and they're all like anime girls and boys. And mm-hmm. it's just like mm. all of the boys are androgynous or like pretty hunky. So you don't even mind. <laughs> and then all the girls are just like babes. They all Even, have, like, pretty sexy voice acting, too. Oh, yeah. And, like, <laughs> even Meg, which I'm not that into, but, like, because um, she's got problems. She's got a lot of issues. She's got to <laughs> deal with it. Um, she's still kind of hot, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, if I were still mm-hmm. in my phase of uh, thinking I can fix mentally ill people, <laughs> I would definitely try and uh, pursue a relationship. Nice. You're Melfi, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> Melfi. <laughs> Jennifer Melfi, Aaron. That's yeah. Fun. And now I'm in the Melfi era, and that's why I want to <laughs> bed Demeter. That was the alley-oop. <laughs> that was the alley-oop. <laughs> nice. It's called improv comedy, folks. <laughs> Look it yes, up. And, uh... We're working together. <laughs> well, that's cool. Hell yeah. You made me want to see if I can't finally beat Elysium that damn level I'm stuck on it those two boys mm. at the top they're so now, they're so full of themselves mm-hmm. Elysium isn't that also a film with Matt Damon it surely <laughs> is <laughs> now that's kind of weird right <laughs> he doesn't like gaming he doesn't isn't like it, games what are he the, wanted the born, the egg, right remember <laughs> yeah. when he wanted exactly, and remember when he wanted the Born Ultimatum games to be 
like mist and there's video of him being like i wanted it to be like mist i wanted it to be like point <laughs> click games really and no, um, an idiot. yeah and it but then of course it's like this action thriller movie so it's like a shooting and he's like so I, I i had nothing to do with it so think about matt damon think about elysium think about what's happening here maybe he's silently tossing his hat in the ring Mm-hmm. Could be. He's coming around. I didn't know uh, mm-hmm. Matt Damon is an avowed gaming hater. Wow. Yeah. Slash, he doesn't like the violence. Uh, he loves uh, Mist. Uh, he doesn't uh, like the violence uh, in video games, violence. but loves performing violence on film. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, this violent gargantuan figure that I've created <laughs> is not going to be doing what he does in my movies my work <laughs> and then instead he's going to be doing this that'd be cool born ultimatum this where it's just him going around pointing <laughs> yeah. shit and be like hmm, fucking clue bitch oh my god <laughs> it's like a born uh this rocks though. animal crossing clone everyone's just nice and you get it, uh, get yeah. it, handing each other pieces of cake and things. Yeah, you give each other bugs. <laughs> and then occasionally someone gets killed by the government or vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> they get and activated. And that shakes shit up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Do you think they'll ever introduce ops in Animal Crossing? Or do you think that'll ever happen? <laughs> oh, for sure. I think that's in the next episode. <laughs> you know. Where you get to kill your neighbor if you don't like them. I know that right now you can kind of convince them to leave, but now there Mm. is an assassinate button. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely should add a kind of a, um, like almost like a, an adventure, like quest kind of system. I think would be cool. Mm -hmm. If we're actually talking about like new things to add to animal crossing, you should be able to go on to like pick up a stick, use it as a sword and go and like wax beat stuff. your friends beat your friends yeah. well you um, can like hit them with a net, the net and they yeah. get kind of mad <laughs> yeah, but that's pissed. like that's the biggest conflict is they're like yeah ah, ah, ah rude <laughs> sure. i'm gonna go over here and look at this daisy <laughs> yeah angrily shoot it clouds out of my head yeah, yeah. wow wow um that's cool uh i'm excited for you to try um uh elden ring sam did you get the uh did you get the expansion that just came out as well are you going old school i didn't get it because i figured i'd probably die so much that i would never get to the expansion we're getting a folks we're getting a live view of his download screen and this oh is a very interesting visual thing to see because people don't think about X or Y axis mm. in gaming, but they should. Mm. And <laughs> this is stuff that the options right off the top, you know, the brightness, but it's really, I appreciate it. As a aspiring PC user, um, I love menus and <laughs> seeing something like this. I think is just <laughs> nice and cool to see. So right now I'm just making some crucial decisions about fucking camera rotation like i'm michael bay wall recovery is this a yeah. camera speed ps5 i'm looking at ps4 this is the ps5 which you could okay. use these four lacroix as like a grill surface uh-huh. hot. <laughs> my ps5 is um and it's very loud it's like you have an ac going um <laughs> so it's awesome and there's four good games for it which is so cool <laughs> So, yeah, you, you <laughs> like to talk how there's like nothing to play on. It's yeah. It's crazy. I had to uh, break the bank a little bit, get a blade to get this out of uh, Union Square. Um, <laughs> but I was able to retrieve it safely. Yeah. I was in, you know, in for about 1400. Did, um, <laughs> did you ever did you ever play Baldur's Gate? I did not. I have not. The new one looks fantastic. People have been saying good and things. And it's available for everything. It's currently $60, but if we could ever get our acts together and all get the same game and sit yeah. down and play it for 20 hours, I'd put oh my, my, I'd put my yeah. vote on we for could that come. one. We could come. We could all fit in Micah's <laughs> love seat. Aww, and come. It. 
Yeah, because we don't have the. We're currently seeking the uh, the processing power to do some live yeah. gaming, but maybe we could just do some analog, uh, pretend it's live, uh, sort of deal. True, true. Uh, make some, we could spend invite like hours, some weeks over making something, yeah. and have them yeah. comment. We'll just set, yeah, just just like have Marshall in the corner with her phone out. <laughs> A little couldn't Instagram just, okay, stream. Couldn't, yeah. Couldn't we just have someone live streaming their phone for the reaction shot of us, and then we have someone else filming a TV <laughs> with worms on it that we're playing, and that's <laughs> yeah. the live stream? Yeah. I will we say... Just patch those two in? I think uh, something like worms or, or that game I mentioned that looks like worms and is free to play which uh we should i think we should all try uh i think something like that would would stream easily um i think for whatever reason um minecraft is just a little it's too little big. too intense for for my little baby computer in it so it's so it's really running hard on the Mm. It's GPU. Hello, I'm Micah, creator of Extremely Live. If you're enjoying what you're watching, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with a friend. Please, that would be amazing. Extremely Live is a podcast and a live stream that is value for value. If you're getting value out of what we're making, we ask that you send us some value in return by going to extremely.live slash donate. We'll take anything. We appreciate everything. And uh, with that, let's get back to the video. I uh, keep getting vi uh, videos of people playing Minecraft with um, realistic graphics uh, mods. Oh, no. It looks so good. It just looks so yeah. cool. Really want to try. I don't it. know if my my computer can barely handle normal Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's really chugging along. Yeah, it I'm, was not I'm, built for. It. I'm a few, uh, man, I hope I can make it another year, uh, on this computer, but I am, yeah. it's starting to feel like I need to do an upgrade. And if I do do it, yeah. I think I'm getting a windows <laughs> just so I can, uh, play, play shit like Elden Ring. Yeah. I, well, yeah. I have a, I just talked to my friend and I'm going to go over to hit cause he has a PS five. And so I'm going to go over to his house and just play PS five and play games. So then I have something to talk about. <laughs> that was okay. Wait, wait guys. What do you guys know about the, have you guys played Elden ring? Uh, uh no, mm. I'm afraid of failure. Oh, okay. Actually, I take it back. I, I played it for like 15 minutes at my brother's house. Mm. I, I there are so many different character options. Vagabond, warrior, Ooh. hero. Do Vagabond. That's Bandit. Sick. Astrologer. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh. What? Wait a second. Look at this what about gawker employee. Astronomer. <laughs> Prophet. Prophet. <laughs> samurai. <laughs> prisoner. Confessor. Wretch. Cri oh, crypto yeah. guy. Wait, are there images? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Wait, who's naked? It's the naked one. That's nasty. <laughs> You're horny That's for, red, the, for horny for Hades people, but you see some ripped underwear folks, and you're disgusted, Melissa. All, all I'm saying red. is <laughs> that state of the art weird. gaming podcast. No one. Here. <laughs> and who would choose the one with no armor? Mm, I like that samurai <laughs> outfit. That looks oh, cool yeah. as shit. Oh, yeah. Do the samurai because they're hot. I mean, samurai is obviously Ooh. what I'm going to do. Or the astronomer. Or who's the one in the cloak? They're pretty. Astrologer. Astrologer. Is that a barbarian? Yeah. Which, one, which one talks about a uh... hero? Hero. Hero's good. And then Bandit is in the middle here. No, Bandit's nothing. Bandit's <laughs> trash. Mm -hmm. And then this, Ooh, is a, the, oh, this is just Warrior. Who are the people in blue? Warrior. warrior. Vagabond. Vagabond. Mm. What, do you, what is Vagabond, Vagabond looks cool. 
Is a vagabond, vagabond a is sub- Vagabond's like a kind days. of, like a wandering one. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. And not all who wander are lost. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I understand. I had a couple of crushes on some of those boys. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ah, I'm mm-hmm. just going to wander on over to Hot Topic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be home. <laughs> I'm just running away from my mom's trust fund. Yeah. Mm. Come sleep many... in my tent. We're going to Missoula next week. <laughs> <laughs> this like... day old pizza and smoke some weed. <laughs> I'm not saying that Maynard James Keenan is gay, but I am saying that if he is, I bet he's got a bunch of little 18-year-old boys dressed up like this. Oh, no. <laughs> Prisoner. Prisoner? Just... That's just a gimp. <laughs> yeah. Do a gimp run. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be a sexy BDSM little bitch. <laughs> I think it's either going to be prisoner or gawker employee for me. Gawker <laughs> employee. <laughs> <laughs> They have the best speech. They have the highest speech, highest charisma. <laughs> um, Just like real I mean, life. Obviously, I'm going to do samurai. Like, samurai yeah, is so cool. Yeah, that's a cool. no-brainer. And I'm trained as a... Please choose a body type. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trained as a Jedi, uh, which yeah. is, you guys probably know, comes right. from the Cure Saul films, which you know, <laughs> samurai... Mm-hmm. True, bro. Yeah. So true. So, Damn, that's exciting. Uh, I haven't that's played. So I haven't played much of anything. I played some ukulele earlier, which Ooh. is that um, banjo kazooie like uh, platformer. Right, right, right. Not the uh, instrument. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, was I was like rocking out on ukulele. Um, that'd be cool. Um, I, uh, it's a fun little game. I, I highly recommend. Well, not highly, but if you like platformers, it's a it's a decent platformer for sure. I'm on the world two right now. Yes. I've been reading a lot of comics, and uh, oh, I yeah. saw a movie, which I will talk about if you want. Uh, I won't spoil it, so don't worry, listeners. But I saw the new Deadpool movie. Which uh, I was hear that boys. I uh, I'm not like a huge Deadpool person, or not necessarily even a huge MCU kind of person. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was like, should I see this movie? I kind of want to see it, but I don't know if I I don't know if I want to spend the money. And then um, Red Letter Media posted a review, mm-hmm. and Half they were the glowing. I had a glowing review, and I was like, really? Deadpool won them over that hard, huh? So before they got into spoilers, I, on a whim, bought a 10 p.m. ticket to a packed showing. I couldn't believe wow. it. But, um... Is you and a bunch of eight-year-old boys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, no, this is the first time I've heard the word fuck. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> um, no, mostly 30-year-old men and uh, handfuls nice. of um, Marvel girls. Um, mm, a rare breed. Very rare. Uh, but the, the weird thing was all the available seats were good seats. There was only like five <laughs> available seats, but they were all like perfect. Like, you know, the exact row you would pick. Maybe Was it just because they weren't together? together? Say it again, It seems Sam? like maybe. Oh, oh no. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was just saying maybe those people were killed or committed suicide. <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Mine Could was be. less. Funny, uh, but maybe people just didn't want to sit next to other on, yeah, groups. Yeah. That so could be you as the loner, yeah. Unless but you went with Mark, I, if no. he's real, if no, she even Mark, exists. I swear to God, <laughs> I went to see one of the Fifty Shades movies with this gr- person I was dating. Sure, sure. Yeah, and we did, we did. It was with the person I was dating, sure. and we were doing the Fifty Shades 
sex. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Like very you were doing the Fifty Shades person. challenge in the theater. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Um, but the thing that was so funny and sad is it was like the third one, and we were just kind of like drunk and horny. That's why we went. There was a whole <laughs> ass family in like one of the four or rows of four. Weird. And it was just like. I don't know. It was Did like, they walk in on the wrong You know, thing? two kids, two parents. How old? Two? Kids, I think it was like eight and 13. No! It was kind of just like... I'm an adult. That sounds that like go the, straight to jail situation. Oh, here. yeah, that is concerning. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah. they did. They and if they did, they walk out right when they saw the, the boobs and stuff. <laughs> it, what was have. so funny is a lot of that movie is like cuts to black, cuts to white. So there would just be like awkward mo- moments after a sex scene where they were completely illuminated. You know? Oh my like, god! Just like the light of the screen. <laughs> yeah. And then I would kind of, but you couldn't just look at them because you were like. Okay, I'm not gonna. I don't. I'm know. not I don't gonna look at the child. I'm drunk. I'm hard. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to jerk off in a movie. Theater, you know, I'm trying to like pull an usher yeah. over. Like I, I can't get yeah. hard with a child in the room, sir. Can you kick like, that? My off? cock is out and in my hand when the usher comes over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This, is just this guy this is really. <laughs> I come to this theater every night, dude. I do this shit every night, and this guy's just <laughs> ruining it for me right now. You're um, like, same seat, and it's just crusty and white. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just on the one by the cup holder. Every time God you go, damn. you but, secrete a new layer oh, on top, oh, so it's just, like, growing yeah. bigger and bigger. Uh, <laughs> I mean... It was, yeah, it was, I think either they were unhoused or they (laughs) were just like the typical like Christmas day movie crowd of like, let's go see the new movie out Yeah, because it was like in the Midwest, you know. Oh, so they might not have town. even known. Still, very. I think strange. Come on. I mean, like the, maybe they just the poster... didn't know how to describe the birds and the bees. To their kids. Yeah. <laughs> like this will mm-hmm. do it. We don't, yeah. This movie's a little bit about uh, what me and your mom like to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Consent, we not hate. that important. <laughs> we hate talking to you, so we're just going <laughs> to traumatize you. Please don't have follow-up questions. They're going to be yeah. so traumatized, they're not going to have any. Yeah, they yeah. never ask their parents a question again. They never went to a movie yeah. again. <laughs> I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, a weird family film. Um, I did see a father with his very young children at um, <laughs> Deadpool. Uh, Do they also cast in Deadpool? vaguely uh, questionable? Yes, they really were relishing their R rating, and they mm. were saying the the F word a lot. A lot, yeah. Um, we wow. don't like that. Yeah, no, it was bad. Um, but I have to say it was a very fun film. It was a very entertaining, weird, like the, the, the kinds of jokes they were making were so bizarre. Like obviously Deadpool's whole thing is he breaks the fourth wall or whatever, (laughs) but they're like half the movie is like jokes about transitioning from, uh, Fox studios to Disney and like, (laughs) uh, like talking about, in like weird insider uh um like behind the scenes hollywood gossip about like ryan reynolds not getting along with this other actor who's in the film and like jokes about that and i'm like this is kind of weird and interesting wait is it true yeah it is true they don't get along so yeah like i don't want to spoil who it was but they like i guess famously didn't get along on set and so this so he actor has in? a has a cameo and they make jokes oh, about it. I know what you're talking what? about. Isn't it like made by Ryan? I think the his Ryan? name was in the writing credits. I would I would guess it's not, he's not doing the bulk of the writing. But, but I bet I, it was his idea. He was like, fuck this guy. I'm going to write him into the scene. <laughs> just like so shit on him. 
as Deadpool. Yeah, could be. Although that's like so weird. Mark. They do get a, they 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 do kind of uh, resolve their issues. So maybe he was trying to um, be nice. Actually, I don't know. But, but what um, if it's? But that's. Don't you think that's weird too? Because it had to like take place in the same place where the weird thing happened. It, same exact setting. Like, it's it's it, just it, now it, just wording it differently. Yeah, it was it was interesting but yeah there were lots of really out there jokes also like five jokes per one minute of screen time i would say it was just constantly just like dialogue visual gag like just like trying to get as many jokes as possible Mm. which you don't see very often um was it good did it work for the most part i mean there were jokes that didn't land that people didn't like um there was a woke mob joke that nobody laughed at that i thought was kind of funny that i was it (laughs) it was like uh someone was in a wheelchair and they didn't need to be and and uh Deadpool goes, uh, ableism? Where? What are the, the the woke mobs gonna hate this? Well, I'm and, sure that really killed in like. Florida. Yeah, n- yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> it did not kill in New York City, but I giggled Weird. a little bit. What? <laughs> well, you did go to the screening specifically for paraplegics. So yeah. That awkward. Been- That's why I said I and looked around. I looked been- around and went. And it, it is awkward specifically because <laughs> Micah did fake to be in a wheelchair just to go to that screening. Yep. It's the only That's one I could get a scene. Imagine like, <laughs> imagine like a contract heckler who's like, I will shout out the funniest <laughs> shit at a live show. I'll do a full octave up awkward. Okay. <laughs> I will do chants. I will bring up recent events in the media about the person, <laughs> about their family, whatever it is. That's so and I will not get kicked loudly. out. <laughs> they're like Phantom of the Opera. They can like avoid getting kicked out somehow. They're like, I will I will not get touched by security. <laughs> and I will say the funniest shit you've ever fucking heard. <laughs> Pay me, I'll do the writing. $100, I'll do I it just all. love it. I just love what I do. <laughs> so funny. It's an art. That, there weird. was there was a lot of audible yelling out comments. I have to say, this is my first time I went to a packed um, Marvel mm. fan movie, uh, and mm. they they like yelling out when their character comes yeah, on screen. I've be- never experienced oh. that. Be- it was interesting. There was a they woman right in front of me who was like losing it, like like being like, yes. Yes! Oh, that's just so like fun. full. It was, it was. It was honestly like, it's a little corny, but it was nerd. honestly enjoyable to like that's be in like a shit. super. We might, lose, yeah. we might lose listeners, but don't fucking do that, okay? <laughs> mm-hmm. It was like a little strange. Clapping as the when the plane lands. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's like clapping y'all... when someone does their job. <laughs> mm-hmm. You guys, oh, yeah, get I, out of here. I will just say I have never clapped at that shit. Uh, <laughs> Spider Man coming back into the fight, I've never clapped at that. Yes, no. you have. My Sam. Wife, yeah. Did she give me a look like I was some kind of invalid and she needed to take <laughs> care of me, but still thought it was kind of cute and funny? No, that did not happen. To me. No. Okay. There was a couple sitting right oh next to me, God. and the dude just got kept getting so amped he was like leaning literally on the edge of his seat like literally just so into Mm -hmm. it but it was genuinely a very uh fun and funny movie and uh i will say um it had a lot of cameos and Mm. um movies like that they have lots of cameos can often feel kind of cheese ball and annoying every just Mm. about every single cameo was really good and really entertaining uh and added to the movie uh so i have to give him i have to give him credit for like kind of pulling off a hard a hard thing to do i would say like yeah. constant uh cameos often feels isn't that kind of what dumb. like mm-hmm. Isn't that kind of what the movie is, sort of? Just like it's so, built around that. Yeah, I would say so. Together. Yeah, that's but that's like fantastic. the cameos, they like they become part of the story, which is interesting. Like every time they add a new mm. character, there's like 
they're actually like pushing the story forward. I think that helps a lot. Like it's not like. What did you think? What did you think of the scene where Long Legs walks in <laughs> and turns into the new Green Lantern? I was like, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Finally, the crossover of my dreams. <laughs> in brightest day and blackest night. <laughs> um, oh. But yeah, it was good. Oh, Everybody was good. Did a good job. I was highly entertained. Um, if if you were on the fence about it, so was I, and I went and I I had fun. So I recommend. There's I. I saw a really cool article where it was like a, just a pull quote article from Hugh Jackman. Mm. And Hugh Jackman, I go to the video, he's like, I thought, why haven't I been doing this for the last 20 years wearing <laughs> this yellow and blue suit? It's just so fucking right for the character. And it's just like, oh my God. yeah, dude. That's so awesome that they got you to say that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is undisputably a matter of neurodivergent gentlemen on the X-Men Council that have visited the set in Canada where Professor X's place is, okay? That understand that there's a suit missing. Mm-hmm. It's not it's not about like filmmaking yeah. or some kind of <laughs> Yeah. It was drawn it was drawn by a couple of Jewish guys, <laughs> great guys, um, and but yeah, no, I love that pull quote article, yeah. and I am going to fucking see it. I saw Manolo saw it already. I was like, fuck, I was so gonna ask Phil. Yeah, that. he went away um, early. He kind of just dropped it on me that he went. I didn't realize he was going. I would have gone too. I yeah, I, I yeah. I mean, now that I won't go what a watch movies snake. with him, he'll just go do it himself. <laughs> but he'd love to have a movie buddy. Yeah. I bet so, he would see yeah. it. I, I, he, he seemed like he really, really liked it, Sam. He might go see it twice if you want to ask him. I think that, yeah. yeah There's um, a good chance. I, there was a sequence where him. they're going through different multiverses and meeting other uh, uh, versions of uh, Wolverine. And uh, they had a lot of cool, um, like, nerd fan service stuff in that sequence of, like, oh, I remember that comic book cover. Oh, cool. Like, oh, let me guess. Let me guess. Is there one with him with Patch standing in front of all the pictures of the dead X-Men? Is that there, how there, an appearance? There is a, a, a rev, uh, an appearance of Patch um, Wolverine, yes. But there's two. Yes. Okay. There might be. I, I mean, I'm not the biggest trivia guy, so there may that may have been something I didn't recognize. But there were two wow. specific um, scenes that I'm thinking of that were uh, covers, and one they literally say they like literally mention it in the movie. But the other one, mm-hmm. uh, it's just like a really cool shot. I'm like, whoa. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. I uh, I don't. I, I'm an I idiot. Don't hate I just it. want to correct really quick. I'm just going to cut you off like an asshole. I want to correct <laughs> the nerd record here. It was not Patch Wolverine. It's just this like famous. He's in front of Jean Grey. He's got a cool jacket on. Mm. I don't know if I should pull it up now, but he's in front of all these pictures of the dead X Men. I bet it's in the movie. <laughs> Maybe not. That's like Might the one be. Wolverine cover I know. Yeah, you should uh, you should go see it. I think you'd like it, Sam. I want to um, see. I bet they're going to be Marvel zombies in there, and I want to see that. Mm. I um, I didn't see the second one. I think I might get to try and uh, might try and watch it now, just because why not? I kind of want to see Cable. Um, but yeah, I watched the first one a million years ago when it came out. I think it was on a plane. I watched Freedom it. Riders. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Green Book. I watched the first one. It's called Green Book. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, it's uh, it was fun. Um, Hell yeah! But moving on, let's move on to a new topic. I picked up. <laughs> did you guys? Uh, you ever? You ever read? Uh, you ever hear this? Uh, EC Comics. <laughs> you ever hear of EC Comics? <laughs> EC Comics. Um, oh, have I heard? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been reading a lot of these old reprints of the 
old EC comics who people who don't know they were the uh, the comic books that were so gruesome that uh, the uh, government cracked down on what? <laughs> on com- yeah this is years ago in the 50s um, I think it was Congress started having like hearings and demanding people come in front of Congress uh, and uh, explain themselves because their comic books were so violent and basically EC Comics was a, I think was the one that they were upset about there might have been others but um, uh, because of that the the comic book industry voluntarily created the comic books code where they basically just self-censored and stopped doing cool oh. shit um but I've been reading all these old EC comics, and they're really fun. The art's, like, excellent. And Oni Press is a, uh, a comic book publisher. They started making new EC comics. Uh, Ooh, this one is called is so sick. Epitaphs of the Abyss. And I was Ooh. really excited about it. So I went, and there's another one coming up. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's another one coming out next month. Uh, that's going to be like science, uh, science fiction horror. Um, so I just read this like an hour ago, and um, the old ones, you know, uh, they're very wordy. Like that, like al- almost all of them are like. 10 pages at the most usually about seven to eight seven or eight pages and there's like three or four stories per comic um but they're very wordy so it feels like you're getting a lot of story uh, uh as you, even though they're short shorter comics the ones in here aren't as wordy they feel more modern um and i would say there's four comics in here i would say two are 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 fun are pretty good Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. the other two are like, I would say a miss to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have yeah. hopes. I have hopes that this yeah. could be a cool new thing. I'm excited to check out the uh, the what's the other one called? Let me see. Cruel Universe is the other one they're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm just uh, I'm excited they're trying to do it. I hope I hope they I hope they succeed. Um, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but wasn't the Comics Code Authority just like no fat chicks, yeah. no minority? Finally, no, I, I have a like, comic full of thick screen queens. Oh God! Mm-hmm. <laughs> like no Lizzo type shit. <laughs> no <laughs> Lizzo's allowed. Um, uh, but it is funny to like read a comic set in the modern day that like is harkening back to these old '50s comics, which is kind of interesting. But um, yeah. It made me want to like, made me want to make a little little ten page horror horror comic. That's the other thing is the art. Some of the the art varies. I would say like everybody who worked at EC, they had the best artists because they paid the most. So all Mm. the EC art is like incredible, uh, just super high level. And this is, it's kind of hit or miss for for the art. I would say. So, kind of a shaky start, but I'm going to give them a chance to uh, get the ball rolling because I want it to be good. And I'm hoping... uh, There's definitely a couple stories in here that show promise. Uh, So, I'm going to get the next one for sure and we'll see where it goes. Uh, And then the other thing I snagged is I went to... um, I can never... I don't know how to pronounce this. Kino Kunia. Have you ever been to Kino Kunia? It's this big Japanese bookstore chain. There's one of them in mm. New York City. It's awesome. I, I've I told, been told about it. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I, go. I told. I was saying to Manolo, I want to make a video of me and you going there and like just exploring the the store together because I think you'd yeah. love it. It's really cool. Mm. Um, but they had this big. Looking at all the yaoi. Exactly. They have this big display of Initial D, which is Ooh. a famous old uh, racing manga that I had definitely heard of. And I was like, uh, well, fuck it. I'll just get the first volume because uh, it's a new translation. Um, and I've read the first 
like 10 pages. I haven't really ripped into it yet. I don't know where it's going, but I, I like the energy of it. Like the, the main character, it's just like every other panel. It says he's like spaced out. Like, like he's like high and barely paying attention to any of the, to anyone talking to him, which I think is a funny character trait. So I'm excited to, to dig into that. Uh, what is this? What was, is this? Oh, yeah. Five. This is the. Oh, that's so funny. Sam was talking. We were talking is. about Forza before this, and yeah, that's that's the car on the cover. Wow. Uh, that's so yeah, cool. That was. That was. A that was what was cool about those games, you know, is they had so many different types of cars. Yeah, this is awesome. Use. You pulled that up fast. Um, yeah, for sure. You just have tabs well, let's of just what say... you think we might talk about. On <laughs> Mm-hmm. Very good. There may not be a pathway in my brain from like growing into like better communication, but there is a pathway between initial D and Force Motorcycle <laughs> Five Horizons. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I got so. to the uh, checkout, they said, "Oh, your uh, your copy of Initial D comes with a extra," and I'm like, "What? What is this?" She said a word. I don't know oh, what the I I can't God. remember what the word was. But look how fucking cool this is. Whoa. I got cool. two cuties hanging out next to a cool look car. At those cuties. Printed on uh, oh, like- it's basically a postcard, postcard size. Um, oh, I think cool. what this is is the artists have these at their tables at uh, like cons and then they sign them and like you 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 get like a signed thing. I think this signature is printed wow. on. I don't think this is like a genuine I don't like know. signed object mm. but uh i was kind of excited that they were handing this out like this that's, that's fucking very cool exciting. i like that yeah. idea of having like just cool free postcards you can sign and give to people i might do that yeah. for the next uh for the next uh con i go to um yeah. not that anybody wants my signature but it's still I fun do. to have that on uh on your table oh I thanks do. guys thanks guys I want um, your s- signature on my boobs. <laughs> Finally, I've been waiting my whole life. <laughs> I've been practicing on Nerf balls. Every <laughs> That's what they feel like. At right? sleepovers. Yeah. Wasn't my boy's sleepover we were practicing <laughs> signing tits on his... <laughs> on his he Nerf balls. Just like, you know... <laughs> He held him up to his chest, and I was signing him. Dude, we're gonna be so famous for being awesome, like wrestlers. When I'm a famous wrestler, <laughs> you have to sign a lot of boobies. Yeah, and everyone would be like, "Wait, how would you sign it? How would you sign it?" And then I'll practice on like the bigger shirtless kid, and then I'll have like different moves they would do and take it really seriously. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh man. Is there a movie about a sleepover? Is there like a like a coming of age sleepover movie? That feels like oh, fertile sure ground for. I mean, yeah. I feel I like in every horror. Marshall horror yells movie. yes from the the next room. It's called sleepover. It's called sleepover. <laughs> she says. Mm. What? Well, there it is. And there it is. I guess I'll have to take a little yeah. look. See. Um, I feel like. The slumber party is also kind of a part intrinsic in horror films, like where spending the night, like a nightmare on Elm Street, Johnny Depp stays over yeah. to watch her sleep. In Little Monsters, there's a sleepover happening with the brothers and the big brother scare. It's just like something, you know, it was the 80s. They knew what you were doing. They knew you were all secretly gay boys. Like, what's over? <laughs> and, you know, watch movies together. I don't understand that, but. Just waiting for someone Movies to make the are first gay move. As hell. <laughs> <laughs> Movies are gay and weird and, and, and all of that crazy shit. I've been on the Peloton. I talked to this guy on Peloton who does math, but is really high IQ. Um, and he's been telling me some really fucking crazy shit. Wow, some deep knowledge. This is some some arcane knowledge you're dropping. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh. Sorry. No, it's all Sorry. good. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I picked up. Everything I've been into. 
You should read EC Comics. They're fun, folks, if you like that sort of thing. I think it's hard to do a scary comic. Yeah. Unless I you're Jinji Nito or Eat. Oh, uh, yeah. He does so good. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I mean, the king. Uzumaki's yeah. one of the best uh, mm. horror comics mm-hmm. I've ever read. Oof. Spooky. So spooky. Mm. I have been doing the opposite of mm. what Mike has been doing, and I've been watching romance anime. Ooh. And it's mm. so cute. It's, like, weird because now I'm not in high school, and so I am just watching these, like, high school kids just, like, hold hands for the first <laughs> time. But, like, because you can go really, like, X-rated mm. pretty quick. Mm-hmm. But I like to stay within the realm of, like, the the biggest thing that comes to be is they, like, kiss for the first time mm-hmm. and then like the season's done and you're like all right get out of here you scamp and um <laughs> but it's just like it's the most wholesome out. sweetest thing ever along with like the most pervy like guys <laughs> shoving like accidentally putting their face in so many boobs <laughs> yeah. it's like what so a, cute what a but trope. then like a lot of molestation <laughs> <laughs> you're like i don't know this is too cute i can't i can't decide whether this is disgusting or adorable <laughs> but it's adorable what's because it's uh, always an accident what's the what the first oh you're talking about two different well, things there, i've seen a lot uh, is the thing because they, they only like have like one or two seasons oh that makes sense it's only so much you can draw out of let's hold hand like you know right right so the first one I watched was this g- girl who likes this uggo. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, how on earth does she like this ugly guy over here? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she's like, yeah. I just do. And um, I know he's like disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just like big and like scary, mm. I guess. Mm-hmm. But it's just like this very large dude but he's really good at like sumo or i don't know not sumo <laughs> but like you know like fight not fighting either because he's a gentle giant and then the second one was this girl who just really likes uh is kind of meta she really likes boy love manga and so she, but then she gets like hot and all of these guys start liking her, but all she wants to do is see them kiss each other. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's all these guys that are like trying to woo her, and she's just like in the corner when they are like hugging each other, just like oh, <laughs> and that flicking that good. bean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> senpai. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So, yeah, they're really should, good. They're really good. We should go to a boy love romance bar and <laughs> do a live stream in there. They Those have like exist. a waiters. Oh yeah, yeah. Have, like, a waiters yeah. Act. Yeah. It's oh like the main yes, I know what you're talking about. Men. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that'd be wild. And the dudes I are not gay in real idea. life. <laughs> no. I just I want mean, to go to an arcade love... with it. I love gay men kissing. I just want to watch it all the time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sometimes I get two of my friends and I just squeeze <laughs> their them. heads together. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man. But oh, I'm boy. a hag, I'm a- so I only... <laughs> <laughs> Say the no, full I'm- term, Millicent. I Say can't. The full- <laughs> I'm not a real one. I just am a barista in New York. <laughs> and the only uh, way I can have friends is by uh, being a hag. <laughs> oh, are most male baristas gay? Most baristas are queer. Oh. I would say like... Getting off on serving majority. me. <laughs> I think it's just like New York in general. Mm. And then, um, nice. <laughs> like, you know, like Bushwick. Gotcha. <laughs> it's just, mm-hmm. I think the majority, even the women, the women are gay. 
you mm-hmm. know, the boys are gay. Huh. And then there's like a couple of straight ones in the mix. But then also the straight ones are bi. Like, <laughs> there's no such thing as wow. a heterosexual in New York. You are mm-hmm. in the, uh, the boy love coffee shop. BL. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The BLC. Yes. Well, I was talking about how good of a beard I would be today. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. back in the day, I'm like, I would do so good marrying a gay guy. That's funny. There was a story in one of the um, uh, EC comics, actually, where a uh, dude is like, looks a lot like this uh, millionaire who has... Um, uh, like a brain issue he's in the hospital and he's like oh maybe I, I'll sneak in there and I'll murder him and take his place uh, and he he does and then uh, he real- he finds out that sh- he's married and then he uh, he goes home with this woman and she's like immediately hooking up with this other guy and he's like what the fuck you're my wife I thought she's like you know our deal you know I don't really love you and I'm like oh shit this is like it's kind of like hinting out that's what the set the situation oh, is. She's like, they you can't, know, you're gay. Yeah, they can't directly say it, even pre comics code, I Damn. guess. Mm. Which was interesting wow. to me. Um, that. that was the other thing, it was no fat chicks, no gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Look. Look. It's just super Dude, hot guys. Code. Super hot girls that want to fuck each other. Listen, heterosexually code. <laughs> us guys at the comics code we live through the summer of love <laughs> we love big we love big naturals and, <laughs> acid and all that shit <laughs> but we cannot let our kids become fat hicks <laughs> okay no fat chicks no gay guys no poc <laughs> Tom, oh oh. Sam, they're going to some person is gonna just take that <laughs> clip of you saying that. Yeah. By the and way, ruin your life. Comics code is spelled with all K's. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of romance, I've been re- meaning to read this uh, manga for forever called Mason Mason Ikaku. Have you heard of this? You hear this? Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a, it's about a a woman who runs a like a boarding home of like wacky characters. Oh, and there's a, that's like old school. Yeah, it is. It's like the '80s. That's why I'm interested in it. Oh but, yeah, uh, I don't do it because they're uggos. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the the whole deal is there's like a young guy living in the boarding home that he's renting from her, and okay. then eventually oh. they're gonna fall in love. Is it the same person that does like Inuyasha and Ranmo and? Ram? I I believe yes. Oh, I'm, never mind. I, those aren't uggos. That illustrator is good. Yeah, let me let me see. They're redoing it, a Ranmo one half. I heard. Either, yeah, like, I saw something about that recently too. I it? yeah, Inuyasha. Say. Exactly, you nailed it. Yep. Okay, cool. I love that. It like none of the manga in my school, like my middle school library, was proofread, mm. and like. It, like all of the other books, you know, the normal band books weren't there. But then it was clear no one looked at the and like the manga because yeah. like Ronmo and Half, there was <laughs> a all... lot of those, and there's so much tits. Yeah, and I'm just yeah. like, I oh yeah, don't think this is appropriate. But I love <laughs> this, and I'm not gonna say anything because <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and you like honestly, she's hot. <laughs> Yeah, we deserved a little bit, a a little bit of boobs. Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. It is funny, like the blind eye people turn to, like, oh, it's it's a comic. I don't know, it's for kids. Like you don't you don't think about it. Yeah, that's like how my parents were with video games. Like they were so strict about like, um, like. Uh, uh, like music we couldn't listen to like we couldn't listen <laughs> to like non Christian music and shit but they just didn't give <laughs> a crap Dude, about any video game problem? we played <laughs> that's so funny that's man. so funny <laughs> yeah. 
You're just playing like Grand Theft Auto 3, <laughs> like <laughs> driving a stripper somewhere to be killed. And they're like, that's fine, okay? Yeah. But none of this, the fray. I mean, yeah. Yeah. If I catch you listening bad. to Sugar Ray, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> you're oh, out you the can't window, convince buddy. me you're Sugar over. Ray isn't a Christian band. Yeah, that's kind of true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Man. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting a little sleepy tonight. Aww, you wanna, that's right. I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap? find a new game to play. Yeah. Too. You're yeah, you're I'll well. try and have a Let's... something to talk about next week for games. There is a game that I'm excited to get. It's not out yet. I think it will be by the time we record. Uh called um Thank God You're Here. Have you seen this? You seen no, this? No, but thank God you're no. here too. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Look up Doesn't Thank mean... God You're Here uh uh game. It looks great. It looks like an animated cartoon. It looks so beautiful. Uh, and it's apparently... Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank oh, goodness you're here. Dude. Thank goodness you're here. Uh, apparently it's very funny. It's a, it's a comedic game. So oh, I'm, I'm excited to play a game that's focused on being funny. Yeah, uh, I like And the, just the style game. looks so great. It's adorable. Yeah. So I think I'm going to snatch that. Uh, it's on sale on, um, what do you call it? Uh, Switch for sixteen dollars, I think, seventeen dollars, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it when it releases, and uh, I'll uh, I'll share my thoughts next show. Ah. How about how about this? How about we get together and play video games together? We play worms together, or I weaponize my depression against you guys. <laughs> saying stuff like, I'm going to hurt myself. You don't play games with me. Oh, no. Sam, you do that How all about the that? time already. Sam, you do that every <laughs> single day. <laughs> this is actually the first podcast you haven't threatened to kill yourself. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's just me being a Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds like you need to make an astrologer on uh, on. Ah, uh, uh, yes. What do you call? Ooh, it? Yeah. I'll tell you guys the name I came up with real quick. Yeah. It is. I went with. Uh, here, I'll show you. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I went Ooh. with Beach Crazy, <laughs> <laughs> who is a samurai type A body type old. Nice. And uh, yeah, I just Sick. thought Beach Crazy Beach right away when I thought Elden Ring. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I think Beach is gonna be. I think Beach is gonna be a little bit of a product of his time. <laughs> I think he's an old samurai that got into it when it started, when it was just pure carnal, chaotic, like <laughs> rim whipping off, like eating the cocks of your victims. Oh, God. Um. And so he's really, really, like, fucked up and, you know, transgressive. But he got hit in the head and he can't talk anymore. Whoa. So people are like, yeah, that's Beach. That's <laughs> Beach. Beach crazy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that guy's a nut. <laughs> he's a nut. <laughs> Don't go near him. <laughs> that's great. Well, I'm excited to hear yeah. about your adventures in mm-hmm. Elden Ring. Yeah. Uh, do you, you play do- those games? The blood, the blood realm, or whatever they're called, the souls like souls. You know, uh, the only thing I've played is Star Wars Jedi, Alan Kingdom, oh, yeah. and Jedi Survivors, um, which are like you know kind of easier than Sekiro, but sim- most similar to Sekiro. Gotcha. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get fucking rolled, which is why I didn't buy the DLC because I'm like I'm not gonna get that. Far. Yeah. Well, um, you never know. You never know. If- if you do play yeah. and you do feel rage coming on, would you film smashing your <laughs> yeah. million pieces? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We need that for our opening Just credits. Bank, bank. <laughs> <laughs> Just me like disgustingly crying, <laughs> screaming and smashing my shit. <laughs> Something that's truly sad and tragic to watch. <laughs> 
<laughs> my mom's on FaceTime in the background. Like, Sam, what's happening? Whoa, Mike, what's happening? Millicent's just flushed and sweating watching it. <laughs> That's so funny. That's awesome. Wow. Okay. Well, I say we wrap on that note. Mm-hmm. Folks, we have a new Instagram account. It's yeah, Gamers we- Rise Up Pod on Instagram. We have mm-hmm. one. You can play the quiz that you can play Melson's quiz. And next episode, uh-huh. I'll probably have another quiz. You can Woo! Play. I'm mm. excited. Um, if mm-hmm. you'd like to support the show, you can go to extremely dot live slash donate and hook us up. And uh, listeners, why don't you rate the podcast? Give that a shot. See yeah, what happens. Just try it out. Oh, and leave saying. a little review. Do it real quick. That'd be nice. We'll read it. Yeah, we'll read it. To my mom. Yeah, yeah we'll read to Molson's <laughs> mom. And if you're uh, watching mm. on uh, YouTube, uh, smash that like button, baby. Smash that like, baby. And uh, give us a follow. We'd love to have a give thriving a YouTube channel. Please. Uh, I recently yes. uh, gonna. did a video where I flipped through Dororo by i can never remember how to pronounce his name osamu tezuka it's pretty fun check that out mm-hmm. it's on the youtube channel exclusive to the youtube Hell channel. yeah it is fucking awesome i watched it thanks uh you got anything you want to yell people about before we go Nah. all right mm-hmm. all our links will be in the YouTube and podcast description. Click them all. Follow them all. Do all that follow stuff. Follow them all. Yeah, help us. Help That's us. Right. Um, quit our day jobs and just be yeah. weirdos on the internet for money. I don't want to be a hag anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want to sell her toenail yeah. clippings anymore, guys. Yeah. Come on. Right. My used pantyhose. Yeah. I'm running out of that. <laughs> I'm cold. You keep shitting every day. <laughs> I keep shitting my pants. Because you <laughs> won't take care of us, listener. Yeah. That's right. All right. Think about that. Thanks for All watching right. and listening and hanging out. We'll see you next week.